Hello tribe, I hope that you're doing well. My name is Benihin Olubengo. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Allow me to interrupt you for a few seconds so that you can get this right. Now, today I want to talk about some of the strategies that you can be able to use to even build relationships further. We live in a world that is very relational more than actually transactional. We live in a world where decisions are no longer made in the boardroom. Decisions are made in coffee places. People meet randomly in a boardroom, in a restaurant, and then they are talking and then they just say, you know, there are job vacancies, blah, blah, blah. Then someone just said, I have a nephew. And all of a sudden, that's how jobs are being exchanged. Opportunities are being exchanged. You go in an event, you do so well, all of a sudden you close the deal there and then. So you live in a very relational world, meaning there are tactics that you'll have to learn that are not in the 844 system. And some of these tactics are, th are things that I'm going to share, four of them. One of the things you need to practice is this thing called feedback. What is feedback? That if, for example, I open for you a door in terms of an opportunity, one of the things that you need to value a lot is that aspect of feedback. When you read the book of Exodus chapter 2, before Exodus chapter 3, I think, before Moses went to Egypt when he had been sent by God, he went back to Jethro and told him, thank you. And apart from that, he also told Jethro, by the way, I'm also going back to see my family. I would like to appreciate for the time you've stayed with me. Now, Moses would have chosen to just go by himself and fight the battle. After all, he had been sent by God. But the guy decided to go back and build that relationship. This is one of the things that will take you far, that aspect of feedback. Feedback can be given even four or five or three or two years later, that you can go back and look for the people who paid school fees for you, people who have held your hand, and go back and give them feedback. And especially, consistent and constant feedback, not just feedback. What is consistent and constant feedback? That for example, someone has sent you somewhere, you've gone, you've opened an opportunity, go back and tell them, excuse me sir, this is what I've managed so far. Now what will happen is that the next time something does not work and you give them as feedback, they'll not treat it as if you're using them. They'll treat it as if that you've always used to give them feedback. So that is also something that you need to value. The second thing is the aspect of honor. Now, create something called a blacklist, a white list and a blue list. A blacklist, these are people who've had so much impact in your life. Very strategic people. They are like, let me say, the top five people in your life. Then create something called a white list. A white list, these are people who can, they, they can also be, they can be either your colleagues or your support system. Then there's something called a blue list. These are either, I can say, your family members or people who make or color your life in one way or the other. So a blacklist, these are people who bring you a lot of opportunities. Now, these people, when you create this list, write down their birthdays randomly. Also, every month, make sure that at least you talk to them two times a month. Call them randomly. You know, it's a strategy of also making sure that you honor them. Know their birthdays, know their anniversaries, collect those special days. Make sure that you maintain that relationship. Now remember, honor is through substance. Substance does not mean a cow or a chopper. You can give something so basic and something so simple. Try and look at the heart of this person, understand their personality and what exactly they love. That aspect of honor, create a list. Then the people who are in the white list, try and also make sure that you also maintain that relationship consistently. These are people who, they might not give you opportunities today, but they are growing constantly, even as you're growing and evolving. And then also the blue list, these are people who are your family members. Make sure that you maintain that relationship. It is sad that there are people who have built a lot of networks, but on the way they have built a relationship with their family members. It is Shakespeare who said that at the end of the day, you should also spend more time and add value to the people who will bury you when you die. Remember, the people who are your networks, when you die or when you become sick, sometimes they may not come to your bed and stand with you, but that family member can stand with you. Therefore, it is also important not just to build strategic relationships alone, but to build it equally. The other thing is the aspect of sacrifices. Sacrifices are key. In a world where people are busy, in a world where people are engaged, sacrifices are very key. And as you make sacrifices, you'll realize that people will start opening opportunities for you. Let me tell you a story. There is a client that you have who uh, has always given us business to train the kid in public speaking. And one day she calls us at 11 p.m. and says, I forgot to call you guys during the day. I'm so sorry. And I would like to request you to come and teach my child tomorrow at 5 a.m. in the morning. Now remember, 5 a.m. is not work hours. But we had to wake up in the morning, go and train the child. The child was lucky enough to win elections in the school. Uh, we prepared him so well that morning. Uh, my, 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 my team woke up by 4 a.m. They were there on time. By 4.45, they were there ready to teach the child. Now, this client no longer sees me as a business partner anymore. They see me as a family and as a tribe. Sacrifices are what distinguishes people from business and becoming a tribe. My name is Benihin Walubengo. I hope that those things will help you. Feedback, honor, and sacrifices. They might seem like very small things, but they contribute. Remember someone said, great people don't do big things. They do small things in a great way. May God bless you.